What's up, YouTube Nation? It's New Year's Day, and I want to wish you guys a happy New Year's. We're going to put some slabs in the boat, but first, we got to put the old 8616 on the mount, the cornfield fishing mount, that is. So I hope everybody is making some great New Year's resolutions and have a lot of great things in, in plan for 2024, but hey, maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's the plan, is not to have a plan for 2024, and that's okay too. You know, that's okay too. I could tell you what I'd like to say is, I thank you so much for a fantastic 2023. Hmm, that looks good. Perfect, right there. That's what it's gonna look like. Let's see, oh, there it is. It's ready to rock and roll. Clean screen and everything. Oh my gosh, that rhymes. All right. New Year's Day, I really do appreciate you guys. So I'm gonna tell you right now, on the website, before we put slabs in the boat, we've got the brand new 1 16th ounce hair jig combo pack. It is available $5 today, today only, on three pound fishing. All the sniping braid products are discounted. There's a huge sale at threepoundfishing.com. Go there, that's the only place it's at. Um, and I'll tell you right now, the 1 16th ounce, the new hair jigs, you got the zombie in there, you got the swamp, you got the winter crappie jig, you got the clown. They're all in there for $5. That is ridiculous. Even the new Optimize on the Pro Spool, even the fishing rods have a discount. We are putting fish in the boat. But most importantly, I wanna wish you a happy new year. And I wanna put fish in the boat on the first day of the new year. Very important. We got a bunch of shows coming up, all this great stuff. Let's get out there. All right, guys, as we start heading, it is cold today, by the way. It's very cold today. Uh, colder than it's been. This is gonna be the cold front that's coming through for the first part of winter. But I wanna start off by saying that we will be in Collinsville. That will be in four days, the 5th through the 7th in Collinsville, Illinois. It's the Let's Go Fishing Show. It's at the Gateway Convention Center, I believe, in Collinsville, Illinois. Three pound fishing, sniping braid, hog fishing. We will all be there. Come on out, meet us all. The people that you've seen in the boat will be there. We will have show discounts, uh, very similar to the ones we're having today. So I'm extending that out to the people that can't make it. Uh, so take advantage of the sales, all that great stuff. But we're gonna put fish in the boat. Now check it out. We've got an extremely overcasty day. Maybe not extreme. We've got a lot of wind and we've got cold temperatures. Let's put some fish in the boat and show you what Let's see what these crappie are doing. Now this is a wind switch on my home lake, which makes the fishing a little difficult. We call it a moving day, meaning those fish are moving from one spot to another based off of the wind. So, and I would gather that the water temperature is dropping pretty drastically because this is a major change in temperature uh, than what we've had recently in the last weeks. Let's find some fish though. Now this is what I'm talking about right here. Now here's a pile, and actually we have another school behind them it looks like, look at this guys. Big school right here, big school. We got a pile and a school behind it. Now this happens a lot of times when we have the wind blowing in a certain direction. And those fish will stick behind a structure. Pile here and see if we got any active fish. Boom, there's our first fish. That is our first cast of the day guys. And that's a good fish. Good eater, just an eater fish. But that's what I'm talking about. So if you look at this structure here, let's look at, let's break it down. So great fish, just a, just a small eater. But if you wanna look at this structure here, you're gonna see that these fish are stacked right here. See how they're stacked behind it? You've got a structure right here. And then you've got the fish just stacked behind it, which is all downwind. So. All we're doing is casting right over it. And here it comes, here comes the bait right there. Boom. That one followed up for sure. Good fighter. Good solid fish, guys. Good solid fish. Great start to the day. That's two casts, two fish. This is bigger than the first one. Look at that shine. Come on now, and check out those fish right there. Happy New Year's. Let's get another New Year's fish going in the bucket right here. Now, if we were keeping fish, I think we'd have no problem getting our limit pretty quick. Yeah. 
and they look like they're deep in they look like they're really deep in this pile so not as many fish but we're hoping that we can get a bigger fish by going deep in the pile there we go is it a bigger fish that's gonna be the question it's a good fish it is definitely a bigger fish so definitely a bigger fish was in the pile so and we're fishing with the again the optimized right now guys uh, this is a slap and this is a black crappie so guys that are new to the crappie industry this is a black crappie good solid eater right there and he was deeper in the pile but we're fishing with the sniping braid optimized that's the three pound fishing reel with the hammer 10 so check it out guys and a lot of schools moving around here right now um and it's always interesting how one school can act different than another here we are dropping smack that in dab into them give me a new year's fish come on now new year's fish do we have one there we go we got a guy coming up to us now right here see him coming up and so sometimes i'll feed it back down to him most of the time we're doing stair step approach but boom we got that guy and that's just us being really really patient smaller guy that's just us being really patient and letting them come up and you can feel that with that braid and that hammer 10 big time but that's a that's a small eater maybe but still a small fish all right guys let me just show you the the mounts i got and what a little bit about my system here now this is an 8616 this is a garmin unit it's a 16 inch mounted on a cornfield fishing gear folding mount okay it does have the bridge a lot of people ask me about how sturdy they are i can just tell you that you should get a bridge if you have an option to get a bridge if you have room for a bridge get a bridge that supports the mount big time and that makes it just that much more rigid and i can tell you that i love the folding mount from the safety aspect of it um, and the ability to put my uh, cover on my boat if I choose to. Now we still have a lot of new people and subscribers coming on. I really do appreciate it. Uh, 2023 was a record year for three pound fishing and we continue, we hope we grow in 2024 obviously. Um, but I get the question, why do you want to use a 10 footer? And I'm just gonna tell you that it allows you to do everything. Casting, jigging, flipping. A 10 footer is the great crappie rod for, for any angler. Now, if I was gonna do 95, 99% just vertical jigging, I'm gonna get a 13 footer. I'm gonna get the Savage 13. But for an angler that wants to do a lot of everything, um, the 10 footer, the Hammer 10, is incredible and again you guys can check out those rods at the website threepoundfishing.com this is the hammer 10 it's absolutely beautiful and if you guys want to see some live footage of three pound fishing the guide service and everything uh check out tiktok i just always want to point that out that i'm on tiktok all the time uh, in fact after i'm done doing this video i'll probably be going live on New Year's. now guys in regards to my settings i talk about it quite a bit is that you know the secret to getting a nice clear screen is to go back to your defaults look at these fish on top here um, go back to your defaults set your noise reject to high and then make sure you put your your distance out of the auto make sure they're all manual of course we like to fish in 35 and usually about 25 foot deep is kind of our standards those are all crappie right there guys and if you put your noise reject to high, now a lot of people are gonna say they like low and off. Um, that's a personal preference, but if you want a clear screen, if you don't want staticky, my recommendation is always to go high, uh, high noise reject. So we're just gonna vertical jig these real quick. These guys right here, they look like they're really solid fish. We're looking for a really slow presentation to these guys. Um, they're, you know, they're just not as, they're not moving very much today. So we're going vertical and we are just gonna see if we can't get one just to decide they needed to, to eat. So we've got quite a few guys that are just kind of somewhat curious about this. So you see how they move in a, boom, we got one. And that's it guys, good fish here too. Best fish of the morning, best fish of the morning. That's a New Year's crappie guys. All right, so just a, just a solid eater, black crappie. Uh, deciding to, to vertical jig, we always let them go at three pound fishing. 
We've decided to vertical jig because you can tell they're not just moving a lot. Now, we've only been out here for maybe 15 minutes, but I can tell that they're not, they're not just going crazy for a moving jig. I think we could catch a limit that way, but I like just messing around with techniques constantly just to see if, um, if something changes that you could, you saw how slowly they moved to the jig and you just have to be patient always keeping a finger on the the, the braid i do believe that the hammer 10 um, the 10 footer is an exceptional vertical jigging rod it allows you to feel everything uh, it's just a solid robust slot rod and then along with that very thin optimized uh, braid you feel the bite just they just have to breathe on it. They are stacked here. Boom, big fish guys, big fish. This is a good fish. Big fish coming in the boat. This is a tournament fish. <laughs> that's a two pound black that is a picture fish that's a tournament fish full body's absolutely full caught on the hammer 10 caught on the sniping braid caught on these jigs that i'm telling you guys are are just a great way of putting massive slabs in the boat this is a huge black all right guys i think that's going to end it but hey have a happy new year Check out the hair jigs, the discounts we have on the website today. We're gonna to post this video early, early, as soon as I'm done here. And um, check out all these discounts. New Year's discounts, they will go away after tomorrow. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the Collinsville show here in four days. That's uh, in Collinsville, Illinois, right outside of St. Louis. Um, the Hammer 10, the Savage 13, they will all be there. All these jigs will be there, but you can get those discounts right now at Three Pound Fishing on New Year's Day right now. Check it out, guys. Appreciate you, and Happy New Year. Have a great time with your family.